This cauliflower gratin is always a hit at the dinner table. Creamy, cheesy, and loaded with cauliflower. You want to talk about the perfect holiday side dish. After one bite, you'll be screaming, cauliflower power, power to cauliflower, <laughs> yay! I love That's it. That's so silly. It's great. So I'm Chris. <laughs> and I'm Wesley. My cauliflower power loon. <laughs> you, you've kind of been ooh. On I the know. Old. It's because I'm more, I'm more focused on this than my witty. <laughs> little names for the loon. We all know that you're a powerful cauliflower. <laughs> you're a flower of the cauliflower. Okay. Okay, enough. so now anyway, so we've got a really large skillet because we've got a, this, you can half this if you need to, but we're making this for Easter that's just around the corner. And oh. uh, so we are doing a full on uh, How much butter is casserole. That? This is three tablespoons of Ooh. unsalted butter. I'm glad you asked. So now <laughs> while this is melting over medium heat, let's talk about cauliflower. Look at this cauliflower. That's a lot of cauliflower. It is, it is. So you can give, um, it's, it's I would go with fresh if you can. You could do frozen, but fresh is always best in my in our books. And uh, so I, you can either go with two large heads or three small to medium heads. You're going to want about 12 uh, cups of these florets. That's crazy. It's 12 crazy. Cups. It's but it. But it's that's it's why delicious. they call it call, call a fly power. Caca, caca, caca. <laughs> so what you're you're going to want to get that rid of that core and just be very careful. It's it's kind of tough and it doesn't want to get out of there. Just you know cut away in pieces. Don't try to do it all in one fell swoop because you don't you do not want to cut yourself no um, and then just work it away and then kind of break those larger florets apart and then you're just gonna they you can leave them kind of big because they're gonna cook down and get really tender in the oven right and um, and then what I do just to make them really nice and soft I have some boiling water over in the stove I just transfer it into that be careful that water doesn't overflow um, and then just let it go let it boil let it come back to a boil and then yeah. let it go for like five minutes drain it and put then it in you the get bowl. these lovely creatures right here isn't that beautiful florets <laughs> Florets. <laughs> we always love to say florets. florets. Okay. Well, I've melted my butter, and okay. so now I've got one medium onion, or about a this is about a cup of chopped onion, um, and we are just going to sauté this and let it get nice and soft, and that's going to take about four to five minutes. Okay. So this has gotten nice and soft, and just starting to turn a little golden a little bit. Now we're going to amp up the flavor, and we're going to add a tablespoon of chopped fresh thyme. 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 I've got thyme on my I hands. <laughs> thyme after time. Um, you could go with dry, just instead of using a tablespoon, use a teaspoon. <laughs> I'm going to butter the pan. I'm sorry. Only if you have enough time. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got a, uh, this, I think this equals like a nine by 13. It does, it does. Um, and then this is traditionally, you would do this in a nine by 13 or um, Or this cute oval. little style that we have. Yeah. Um, it's so but cute. I'm going to butter it all up. Butter it up, would you? <laughs> right. And while he's buttering things up, I've got three tablespoons of all purpose flour and we are going to make a Oh my. <laughs> I'm not wow, a you're voice really today. You, you didn't, you didn't, I didn't warm, warm up. up. <laughs> so now what is going to happen is it's going to just become um, kind of like thick sand, like I always say. And it's okay that to do this over your vegetables. That works just like as if you're only doing it in the pan. I was going to say. No, it works either way. I never see you do it over Oh, yes, I do all the time. Okay. But you just need to make sure that you cook it uh, for long enough to cook that flour taste out because you don't want that raw flour taste. It's not going to be very, very tasty. Okay. No. So, no, no, not at all. So now, now we do, it's the fun part. Yes. We are going to make a bechamel sauce. Um, and I'm going to add in, I have got two cups of our delicious heavy cream. This is a holiday kind of meal, so. I love a bechamel, I, I love know. a bechamel. I, I love it in my lasagna, I love it I in your it. chicken lasagna. It's so, <clears throat> so good, and so a little on the decadent side, but that's okay, we're having it with cauliflower. That's so. right. So I'm gonna whisk this, it didn't get real lumpy, which is good, and now, we're just gonna, I'm gonna get my wooden spoon here and I'm just gonna- You got to you know, stir it. I'm gonna stir things up. I, you know, I've never, well, growing up, I was not a fan of cauliflower. I just, I thought- I guess I probably wasn't well, either. Well, and when you, and it has a distinct smell when you're cooking it. <laughs> and when you're younger, you're See, like, I what like is that smell? smell? Um, well, and it's, it's a white, vegetable it just seems yeah. like it would be boring and tasteless right. but i with a few of your recipes i've learned to love now, cauliflower now it's one of your favorites the the also the whole roasted cauliflower cauliflower yeah with all that butter that is uh, oh that's a good uh, showstopper yeah. for the holiday table or you're roasted with the um you put some green olives and some cheese on it yeah yeah that's <gasps> delicious 
Oh, oh yeah. Okay. There's so many things you can do with cauliflower. It's very versatile. Okay, I'm going to continue stirring this until it gets nice and thick. You can expedite this process by heating your milk and your cream ahead of time. Um, so if you put <laughs> fresh out of the fridge when it's really cold, it's but just going to take a little longer. We wanted to talk a little. We bit. wanted to give you the opportunity <laughs> to hear us talk because you know it's so entertaining. Uh, <laughs> anyway, we're going to stir things stir up. Stir it until we're ready to move on. <laughs> Oh, wow. Isn't this beautiful? I, that is very luxurious. It is luxurious. It's velvety. <laughs> it's just glorious. And the smell is wonderful. Okay, so now we're getting really close. So now. I think a bechamel, or bechamel, bechamel. Uh, improves everything. I, I think you should put it on everything. I, well, I practically do. So now this is, a, this is a large casserole. So it can take quite a bit of salt. So I'm doing two and a half teaspoons. You may want to do three teaspoons. I think spoons. you might want to do three teaspoons. Wesley likes them really salty. I love salty. my salty. Not overly salty, but no, I know, I, I agree. It, it can. So <laughs> I should say also, you see the consistency of this um, bechamel, this sauce. It's um, you don't want it runny, but you don't want it like you know glue. Yeah, like and, a um, paste or whatever. Yeah, because it's really good. Well, we're gonna also thicken. We're gonna thicken things up a little bit. We're, we're gonna also add a little more flavor. Um, I just think lemon, fresh lemon yes. juice, complements the cauliflower beautifully. So and it brightens things up. I mean, we're doing like I said, we're doing this for Easter. Although this is great any occasion, um, but it just it's just a beautiful. Beautiful it flavor. It is delicious. Now, Oops, like I said, we're going. So now we have a cup of one of my favorite cheeses in the world, Gruyere. Gruyere. And we're just. I'm going to turn this heat off and just let this melt mm. while you. Yeah. So uh, another component of this wonderful gratin is breadcrumbs. Well, a breadcrumb topping. So I've got a cup and a half of panko. I love panko. I like because it's a little thicker, like a little flavor. Has a little more crunch yeah. to it. And then I've got two tablespoons of butter. Melted butter, mm -hmm. <laughs> yum, and then some more Gruyere, a cup of Gruyere. Ugh. I used to only, I used to do two cups of Gruyere in the sauce, and that was really great. Um, but I th also love the Gruyere on the top; makes it gives it kind of a really oh, extra yeah. special crunch, and it gives a little like brown, little a little yeah. browning to it. Too. It does. Okay, how yeah. are we doing there? Uh, I think I've got this great. I'm going to now um, put in my cauliflower. So we're just going to You're transfer that steamed cauliflower yes, right, right to. I'm just going to dump. Just dump. There it. we go. And see there how that go. fills that beautifully? Yeah. It may seem like this is way more cauliflower. And if you're only feeding two or even four people, it's a lot. Leftovers are delicious, um, but it, it's, this makes a good amount. This makes it the kind when you know you, when you got friends and loved, stepping back. friends and loved ones coming over. Okay. All right, here's the big dramatic part. Yes. You could, you could absolutely do this with a ladle, but you know, we like to be dramatic. Yeah, and come on over there. There we go. Wow. You may be wondering, here. you also may be wondering, why don't you stir the cauliflower in? Because I don't want to break up the cauliflower. I know, we've done that we before. We like the cauliflower nice and... And as this bakes, it's gonna, it will here. just completely yes. fill up. Over here, over here. <laughs> right you, there. Now, when you do this, you're gonna definitely want <laughs> to have, on. have your own loon available to give you instructions there we go. on exactly Oh, I do. really want to just stir it around. I know, well, but I'm can, not going to. Well, you can a little bit. You Here, what I'll do is I'll do this. Okay. There we go. Oh, let it get, oh, there we go. Yeah. Let it run on down there. Let it run on down there. Isn't that beautiful? Okay. Yeah. So now, oh, that looks great. It yeah. almost looks like a really fancy mac and cheese. Okay, so now if you want to help mm, me, rather yeah. than just oh. standing there looking at it. I'm in awe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we've got our oven preheated to 350 degrees. So let me tell you, you're, if you're doing this for a holiday feast, um, or if you're one, if you're needing to bring this to a holiday feast, you can assemble everything up to the point of what we're doing right now. You go ahead and make the breadcrumb mixture, but don't put it on until. It before it just before it goes in the oven. So does it you follow that? So you can make this so do everything except ahead for of time. The top on. Yeah, and then and then as soon as you're ready to bake, yeah. sort of time out your schedule and then like, okay, I know this needs to yeah. come out of the oven, so I'm gonna put it in at this right. time, but I'm gonna put the breadcrumbs yeah, on there. So you put your top on and then you put that top on. <laughs> and we're gonna go that in the oven. <laughs> oh, the smell is just oh, lovely. so good. Oh wow. Oh wow. Okay. Please let me. I know. Please tell me we're going to let that sit for we a second. We are going to. Uh, <laughs> it is molten lava right now, so you don't want to. But it is like, gorgeous. That is amazing. So you, do, if you serve this right now, you'd have to call an ambulance shortly thereafter because it'll. <laughs> but, it is, knowing us, we were like, "Let's." I, we I, can, I, I, can, I can handle it. <laughs> no, I, you can let this. It's going to stay warm for a while. You can. You can. 
let this sit for anywhere from five to 30, 30 minutes, minutes and it's totally. still gonna be great. So that'll help you as you're getting other things ready. But we're gonna eat it in about a, a minute. <laughs> Okay, it's time to dig in. So <laughs> it's I, not molten lava. <laughs> I know, so, and also this, it does need a little time for just to settle. Um, it, it just, it'll thicken a little bit as it settles. So definitely don't serve it right out of the oven. I'd even give it, I'd give it more than five minutes. Um, 15 minutes is, is ideal. So I'm gonna just get you some here. Oh, yeah, Wesley, right there in the middle. Oh, look at that. Oh yeah, come on over. Mm. Oh, that, is, that looks boiling hot still. It's gonna, it's gonna. Oh, y'all. You're definitely gonna want to blow on it first. Wow, look at that. Doesn't that oh, look? Oh, look at the creaminess, y'all. Oh. Uh, it and it, see, we didn't, since we didn't touch the broccoli, you can still see remnants of the broccoli. Florets. Well, that would really be something <laughs> if it were broccoli. I mean. That's usually flour. what I do, so I'm kind of glad you said it. I know, I'm using a, You mean <laughs> They both have florets. They do. <laughs> They're easy to mix up. All right. I am so excited. I'm now, gonna... We're going to need a couple minutes just to blow up. <laughs> totally. And this has been sitting, here, sitting here 10 minutes, so it stays warm. All right. You going in? Not oh. yet. Hey, Hold you on. You got a big, you know. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm. Oh, that's so good. That's oh. so everything a wow. mountain should be. The combination of the Gruyere and the cauliflower. Yeah. And, and then obviously the Bushmel. Well, yes. oh wow. And then I just, I, the, the cauliflower is spectacular. And the, there's a tiny hint of lemon, you'd never know it. Wow. Um, but then that, I'm telling that crunchy oh, top. See, I want to go back in it, but I got to blow on it. I know, more. take 10 minutes. I, will, I love the crunchy top. It, it would be, it would not be what it is without that now, crunchy if top. if I were a food, I would want to have a crunchy top. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's so many things you could say to that, and I'm just going to leave that Hold as on, I'm going to just have, blow. I got to have one more bite before I render my verdict. Oh my goodness. Mm. Wow. It's so tender. Mm. So you, you could have skipped, um, um, boiling them at first and it'd still be tender, but I just love the really oh. tender, it just melts in your mouth. That is 10,000% Luna Proof. Yes! Woo! Would you say that's fit for a holiday table? It's fit for a holiday table. This holiday. is great for those people that celebrate Easter. If you don't celebrate Easter, celebrate spring. Yeah, celebrate. Just, oh, just wow. get around and celebrate. Wow. You guys, we celebrate you. Yeah! Happy holidays, we love you so very oh. much. Bunch florette of them. <laughs> <laughs> we love Bye, you guys. everybody. <laughs>